Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Sharice and I'm a mom of two that works full time. Today we're going to be unstuffing my envelope so that I can pay myself back. Um, what that means is that I use my credit card throughout the week and now I'm going to take money out of my envelopes and my sinking funds to put back in my account and pay my credit card off. So if you would like to see how I spent my money and how I'm going to pay myself back, stay tuned. So today we have a little helper. You wanna say hi? Hi. She's gonna help me um, check some of the things off. So let's go ahead and get started. I've already color coded and highlighted all the different categories. I know that I will probably need to make some change, but I'm going to go ahead and get started started with groceries so for groceries let's see we had um 66 19 and 15 i know that i overspent in this category so it's a hundred dollars oh i also want to say that um so I learned this new thing from D versus Deb channel, um, and I really like the strategy that she uses. Whenever she goes and shops or spends money somewhere, if it's a publicly traded company, she buys a dollar share of that stock. So for example, um, I went shopping at Grocery Outlet twice, so I'm going to buy a dollar share of their stock each time. So I'll go put that on the screen. I did go to these companies like every time I went and shopped there. In the future, I'll probably just make one purchase. For example, if I go to grocery outlet three times, I'll just do $3 at once. Um, but then again, buying it a dollar at a time, it's fine too whatever works you know the best i'm gonna stick with that but anyway i'll go ahead and post that on the screen so i did spend a hundred i'm just gonna empty out all of this i believe this is 85 dollars so i'm about 15 dollars short so 50 70 80 85 but i do have a buffer so i will be using my buffer So we have five, 10, 20, and 50. So that's groceries. Next, we can go ahead and do, let's see. Let's do beauty. Should we do beauty? Okay. So beauty is 15 plus. 13 so that's gonna be $28 total so that's gonna be all the money in my beauty envelope so I'm gonna take it all out for me okay, go ahead. so it came to 28 I don't have change but Trini. Five, five, five. Mm -hmm. There's three fives. So, let's see. so we have 20, 25, 30, 35. Oh, we need 30. So let's just leave that 30. Let's put this five back. You guys, this is my first unstuffing on camera. So be patient with me. Thank you. Okay, so we have 30. Oh, do you wanna put it? Yeah. Set. So put the fives here. Five. Uh -huh. And put the 20 back there. Awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and check them off as I go. And we did groceries. So next we have gas. And so 
So let's pull out our gas envelope. So for gas, I have, let's see, we spent 84 and 20, which comes to 104. I know all I have in here is 80. So we have 50, 70, 80. So what I'm gonna do is take money from another envelope. I have $40 in my spending envelope. I'm gonna take 20 from there. So now we have 50, 70, 90, 100. You wanna put that up for me? 10. Now we're gonna go ahead and check off gas. For hmm? eating out. So eating out, I put a lot of money in here because for graduation weekend, I was planning to go out and celebrate and um, our plans did change and we didn't eat out like I thought we would. So I actually have extra money in here that I could use towards something else. But let's see. So all we need is 20 for eating out. I did go to Starbucks, but I had money on my card already. So I didn't even have to pay for that. So let's just take this 20. And then for now, we'll just leave this in here. Um, it might go towards challenges. I like to try to use my rollover towards challenges. But um, the graduate that we were gonna take to eat out, um, since we didn't eat out, um, I was kind of thinking that I would use this money toward the gift, but we'll see. I'm gonna think about it and let you guys know. So you can put the 20. And so now we can check off eating out. Can I do it? Um, and this says hike food, hike gas, because um, I went on a hike and this is when we eat, went out to eat after, and then this is the gas that I pay my friend for driving. So last but not least, we have health. So let's put these. So for health, we have what did we have? We had 11 plus 8. Do you want to do that on here? The 11. Do you know what number that is? Uh, 90. 19. Close. So we have 19. Let's just go ahead and round it up to 20. So you see how even though I was short for gas, um, I was like $4 short. Um, I rounded up for some other categories. So it's almost going to even out. Not too worried about it. But for health, let's see. We'll go ahead and grab a 20. Here you go, ma'am. <laughs> and then I'm going to put these back here. My lovely assistant. We'll put the 20. Wait, what is it? Oh, there it is. And then, try. go ahead. What check one do you do? The red one. And the other one. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so let's go ahead and count what we have. It's gonna be more than 100. So we have 50, 100, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. 
10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55. We have $255 going back to the bank. And that concludes our unstuffing for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. It does help my channel. I appreciate all of your support. And until next time, bye. Bye.